Hey, what is up, guys? It's Team Awesomeness here, and today is day two of the Spider-Man five-day countdown. So, for today's video, um, I don't have as much time to film, so I was planning on doing this one on the fifth day, but I'm going to go ahead and do it today because I don't have very much time to film, and this one shouldn't take too long. And what I'm going to do in this video is kind of give you my thoughts, expectations, you know, what I'm expecting, stuff like that, uh, for Spider-Man Homecoming. So, um, I don't know, where do I start? So, I'm, I'm expecting it to be pretty decent, especially because it is made by Marvel and not Sony. Uh, <laughs> I mean, for the most part, Sony didn't do great with the Spider-Man movies, I think. Spider-Man 2 was really good, and uh, Spider-Man, that one was pretty decent as well. Uh, but Amazing Spider-Man movies, and then Spider-Man 3, didn't really like. Um, but I really like Spider-Man 2, that was about it. So I'm hoping and expecting it to be pretty good, because, I mean, all the Marvel movies have been really good. I mean... Except for, like, Hulk has been okay, and then I, I don't super enjoy the Thor movies. They're pretty good, but but they're not, uh, you know, great in my opinion. Um, just because, I don't I don't really like the character Thor as much, but I feel Marvel uh, making it with all their great movies would be able to do really good with the character of Spider-Man. So that's one thing that I'm like, like, oh, this is, this is going to be pretty good. Um, so... People have been either, like, in, in reviews, um, you know, in videos or, or written reviews, have been saying that it's either, like, better than Spider-Man 2 or, like, it's the second best Spider-Man film, like, right behind Spider-Man 2, kind of depending on, on your view. And because I personally like Spider-Man 2, but it wasn't super, like, it was my favorite movie ever, I feel like this one could possibly... Uh, surpass Spider-Man 2, in my personal opinion. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll find out, you know. Um, also, another thing that I'm hoping is that there's not too much Iron Man. Uh, I've heard that it doesn't actually overshadow Spider-Man or anything like that. But still, with the promotional stuff, I'm like, eh, please don't put too much Iron Man in there. I mean, I understand why they're doing it, and it makes sense. But at the same time, I want a Spider-Man movie in the MCU, not an Iron Man and Spider-Man movie in the MCU, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, so yes, I'm glad Iron Man is in it, but I don't want him to overshadow, which I don't think he will. And if he does, I'll be disappointed, but I don't think he will, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, hopefully he doesn't. And then another thing I'm super excited for is the villain. Vulture, played by Michael Keaton. I think this is going to be one of the best uh, Spider-Man villains by far, and possibly one of the best MCU villains. At least that's some things that have been heard about it. And just from the trailers, he seems like a really great villain. Um, so that's one thing I'm super excited for is Michael Keaton as the Vulture. Also, um, I really want to see some awesome, like, classic Spider-Man, like, action shots you know like i want to be able to see like him land in the classic spider-man pose you know i want to i want to see him do some awesome web swinging just a little bit of parts in the movie dedicated to to that to like awesome spider-man stuff the stuff that we love to see about spider-man and also just i'm really excited for kind of like the high school aspect as well i think that'll be uh neat to kind of see um, you know, Peter Parker's a kid who goes to high school. I mean, I go to high school. And so, to see what it's like for a superhero to, to go to high school and stuff like that. So, I'm really excited for this film. Uh, I mean, I'm going to see it opening night and then uh, probably another time, maybe two other times opening weekend. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm really excited. Uh, and I am expecting a lot out of this movie um by a lot i mean i'm expecting it to be a good film that i enjoy 
Um, but yeah, and I'm super excited. It's in the MCU and stuff like that. I love, also feel like Tom Holland is going to do great uh, in this movie. And I also feel like I'm going to like this one a lot because I loved Tom Holland's portrayal of Spider-Man in Captain America Civil War. So I already know, hey, I, I really like Tom Holland as Spider-Man. So let's hope he can continue that in Spider-Man Homecoming. So that's kind of my thoughts, um, kind of what I'm expecting going into it. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And that was part two of the five-day countdown to Spider-Man Homecoming. And tune in tomorrow for day three of the Spider-Man Homecoming countdown. See you next time.